Welcome back Stoner Squad and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome going for Eumenes' footsteps as Cappadocia where we must control Alexandria and Babylon. Um, so today, what do I want to do? Well there's quite a few things. So the thing that I really want to work towards in this episode is gaining access to some legions because it is so going to help us. And considering that our capital we own a lot of the land here, we can have at least 23 units in this damn region. And I really want to make one so we can properly defend ourselves a little bit better. But in order for us to form a legion, I need to be a regional power at least. And at the moment, I think I'm only local. I'm pretty sure that's what we are. Um, nation overview. We are no regional power. Am I regional power? Or do I need to be a major power? Why can't I? I, I don't know. Let's have a quick check here. What do I need? Oh, I am a regional power, so that's fine. I thought I wasn't, but I am. But all I need is 35 PI. So we're going to stockpile as much PI as possible now. And I want to form some legions. I definitely need to get some. It is so going to help us um, in the future. And we gain a load of, like, cool modifiery stuff as well. And hopefully I can actually make a decent amount of uh, men. I would like to get some heavy infantry in as well. Is there any iron? I do have iron over here as well, which is fantastic. Which means I can get some. And, yeah, hopefully we'll go for some, like, heavy cav, heavy infantry and light cav. I really hope that's what we can go for. Uh, but anyway, uh, the situation is currently a little bit sticky because the Seleucids, and um, they've not guaranteeing us anymore. Now, they like us a little bit. We aided them, which kind of makes them like us a little bit, but now they really, really don't get on with us. Um, I'm worried that they're going to kill us. Now, I'm hoping, and this is a big if, and I'm hoping that when Seleucos Nicator dies, so the actual ruler has been around forever, and he is dying, he only, like, loses... 2% per month and he only has 34% health so in about a year and a half he'll be dead so I'm hoping within a year and a half they aren't going to declare war on me I have no alliances I would like to get for Egypt but they don't like me however I am not going to make any alliances with the others it's a risk that I'm willing to take because if I make an alliance with like I make one with Armenia and Atropatine for example now it could act as a deterrent but it could also act as like something to drag me into the war which I do not want to happen uh, so I'm hoping that he dies and then when he does die what I shall probably try to do is people with a big power base I'll probably try to inspire disloyalty and kind of make the whole realm blow when he dies i've got a feeling that who is his like primary heir? i don't know how can i find out his primary heir by the way maybe it's his child is it this guy i think this guy is the primary heir but whatever will happen is you'll have a load of people squabbling for the throne i think or a couple of pretenders and so forth got some rivals and stuff so i'm hoping it's going to kind of cause a lot of instability so that is why i'm not going to um ally these guys in case I get dragged into a war and hopefully he'll die and we'll make it all unstable. Uh, but anyway, enough of me rambling on and let's get rolling. Bim, bam, and bloody boom. So, the first thing I want to do now is probably go to war with these guys quickly and I think I can. I have a, do I have a claim on you? I don't. I am making a claim on these guys. So, as soon as the claim is done, we shall go to war. Um, I am making a fair amount of gold, which means you could probably have a decent sized legion, to be honest, which would be quite nice. Our levies are fairly decent at the moment. We have increased them because we have more like integrated pops, which is all nice and jolly. Um, anyway, petitioner approaches a strapping young adult by the name of Gigi's Pakori had approached our Basilus in private this morning. Bush voice is spoke of a vision in the near future, in which was found by his loved ones having been hanged by brigands. Well, poor guy, that's a horrible fate. I can take good care of you and I gain a lot of gold. I can gain some stability and you gain loyalty, or I can have you hang. I can have you actually hung by brigands, and that'll give me a lump sum of gold. Who are you? You're the governor of Phrygia. You're loyal. So I don't want to get the gold for the tyranny. Now I already have a fair amount of tyranny. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to like take good care of you. So you're going to pay me for the privilege of being taken care of. But I'm not going to spend the gold because I don't want the I don't want to have no gold, so I can't hire any mercs now. The Seleucids aren't planning to kill me at the moment because it doesn't say planning your demise here with negative one thousand modifier. Um, I might still be able to get them back on my side. It it is possible. Um, oh, stability increased. Crap! I missed a cute event again. I hope it wasn't like a bountiful harvest or something. If it was, that would have been really annoying. But anyway, I'm not spending any of this PI. We're going to keep this as much as possible because I need 35 in order to build my legions. And I need to keep a close eye on Seleucids, like, all the time. <laughs> all the time I need to keep an eye on them. Anyway, any more buildings we can get? I know I've got, like, four building slots here, four building slots here. I should probably keep building. Um, now, I could go with a, another... Oh, I can import something here. That's interesting. Of course, now we are making more because of course we are promoting nobles and citizens and of course they're producing us trade routes so i can import something there and i think i'm going to import something for the happiness of my freemen of my um citizens sorry because i have a lot of them 
So, I mean, if I could get some spices or precious metals, would be awesome. No. Spices would be nice, but I can, and I'll import it from the fridge. That's going to increase the happiness by 4%. What is their overall happiness? Their average happiness is quite high. I think it's 60 sort of percent. So it's 64 percent. So why are they emitting? Because there are, of course, citizens who are below 50. Okay, so that works. Um, so basically, I need to go down, find. Okay, I've got like this Cappadocian Zoroastrian citizen here who's pretty peed off. Because, of course, he's Zoroastrian. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. So we have some contributing a little bit of unrest, but nothing really major. So we've got that. Now, can I build... I think I'm going to go for... I mean, what's the ratios here? Let's have a look at the ratios. We've got... We'll do another court of law to get some more citizens, I think. Would be quite nice. So we'll do another court of law and we'll get some more citizens. So get one of them. That works for me. We'll save the rest of the gold. And then we need to work our way over here as well. I think we're centralizing the pops here, which we are. How's the centralization going? We've pulled in quite a few, I think. Yeah, we have. We've pulled in quite a few. So I will change this when I make my legions to kind of social mobility. We'll try and pop some more on. Our tech rate is climbing. We're nearly at 40%. Of course, it's climbing as our stability climbs. Because the more stability you have, of course, the more the pops output. Especially in terms of nobles and citizens. So... More the output, more we get. I'm still fairly comfortable with the Seleucids bordering us. They're not really bothering us, so we'll keep it like that. I do want to just do a quick, like a quick war for these two here. I'm going to need that. Um, it's just like kind of my land, and it gives me some more pops. So what pop types are these guys? These are Cappadocian and Caterina. They're integrated as well, so it gives us a little bit more levies, I suppose. So there's no reason why not. I do need to really keep checking this. every, Literally every freaking month I need to check. Egypt, negative 27. Oh, we're close, we're close, we're close. Negative 38 for them. They're close as well. Hopefully no one's planning on smashing us. I pray to the gods every day that that is the case. And um, here we're going to build one last building here. Can I go for an aqueduct? I could potentially go for an aqueduct. Do I want an aqueduct? Hmm. You know what I do? We can get some more pop room in there. It would be useful. I still don't know why I can't build the, the aqueduct here. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really tell me why I can't build one. Oh well. Who knows. Anyway, 99%. I think the claim is nearly finished now. And... Now? Next month? Add a boom! Okay, so we've got the claim on these guys. Let's take them out pretty quickly. Um... I've got to, I need to keep checking this regularly because otherwise we're going to get smashed. And anyway, let's raise our levies. So we have quite a few now, which is quite cool. So I'll raise all you guys. And now we'll go over here. We'll move you to the border. And once you're on the border, I think we shall strike. Have enough morale. Well, 88% morale. It's more than enough. More than enough to smash these guys. Before we go, let's check. You still want to be our buddy, which is cool. Armenia. Well, I don't want to be our buddy, but you don't want to kill us. Armenia still want to be our buddy. Because if that does change and we do get the negative 1,000 opinion due to planning my demise, then I think I will ally as many people as I can as quickly as possible. Um, are you dead yet, buddy? Nearly. He's going to die. I'm going to bookmark this guy. Yeah, I'm going to mark him. I want to I want to see him if he dies, and then I want to call someone rest. Uh, but anyway, let's quickly take these guys on. They have no friends. I could easily eat them. Um, I could probably take them and make them a tributary or something. For the rest down here, that could work for us. Yeah, I might do that. But anyway, let's give it a go. We'll take you guys on. Just because you have land that I want, so I might as well just go and take it. Um, what about you guys? You still planning? No, I'm at war, so of course they have a negative 30 modifier with us. That's normal. I have one guy imprisoned, but I don't care about that guy yet, to be honest. It's not really my problem. Do you have access with the Salukas, by the way? Don't have military access. Oh, you, no, you don't. You don't have military access with the Seleucids, which is interesting, so you can't really move out of this place. All you can do is run behind. So there's not really much you can do. Now I've got that. Let's go and take this. Then I'm going to seize this down. What level 4 is there? Level 2 fort? It is a level 2 fort. Still not planning to kill me, which is good. You always need to check it, especially when you're, like, bordered by big guys like the ones we've got. Just keep checking, see if they are planning your demise, because you honestly... Do not want them planning your demise. <laughs> it's like, no. No, 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 no. Uh, we we'll can actually see what he's doing. It's influencing stakeholders. I'm trying to get more PI, but it doesn't matter because he's dying, so. Yeah, in a um, couple of months, he's dead. That means, hopefully, a load of unrest. 
I sincerely hope that's what's going to happen. Um, anyway, so what's this? So, incompetent story. So, distort officials from the province of Catonia have been reporting that a not too insubstantial portion of the food grade reserves have been out to fester and rot away. Well, that is so not cool, is it, my friend? I'm going to pay for the replenishment of the stores. Increases the loyalty of the province, so there's no reason why I don't do that. Now, you. Still no. Nicator is still on his deathbed. In next month, he's going to be dead. So we need to keep an eye out on this. So we'll see what happens when he dies. Hopefully something will fire. Hopefully an event which will... There we go. He's dead. Is he dead? He's dead because he's in the sky. He's in heaven. If he goes to heaven. Um, so he's now finished. Okay. So we have a new guy now. And it is Antiochus Seleucid. And hopefully you have a bit of a disloyal power base. So you've got no disloyal power base, everybody? That's not nice. I might have to do something about it. Freaking hell, they're all super loyal. Well, that is not cool. Now, how can I get rid of this guy? You've got a big power base. Hmm. I can't make you lose enough loyalty, though. None of them have a really big power base. But still, I'm going to mark this guy. You're befriending Feeler, apparently. I still don't trust you, dude. I literally don't trust you. Would you like an alliance with me? Negative 45 reasons. It would be down to negative 15 if I lose my war thing. Which is going to be very close. As soon as I take this, we should be fine. And what's our tech now? 42%. It is working. At least our policy is actually doing something. And I'm not kind of chucking stuff or money away and doing all random stuff. Uh, what about Egypt, my friend? Do you want to defend me? Oh, negative one reason. Ooh, I would like this. I really would. It would be incredible. Incredibly useful. And I think they could definitely counteract the Seleucids in this section. Who are your friends, Egypt? You have quite a few feudatories. Um, you have Judea as well, which is quite useful. Um, could I potentially use you? Let's have a look at the ledger here. I want to check the number of cohorts it has. Now, Egypt has 62 cohorts. Okay, This could be good. So I'm definitely going to go for an alliance with Egypt. As soon as I can get this damn thing, I'm going for it. Um, I could improve a little bit more of their opinion. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? I can't improve it over than one. I might have to wait a little bit. Um, I'll wait a month. See if it goes... No, it's going up again now, of course. Um... I might have to send them a gift. Now, I am going to save up and I'll send them the damn gift. And that should get us over the threshold needed to befriend these guys. And that hopefully means Egypt will be my protector and guarantor. Then I could probably go for another alliance with someone else as soon as we hit regional power, like Armenia, for example. And then we would have a decent buffer against these scumbags. And I would like that. The Seleucids are now our enemy. Literally, they own a lot of land over here, and I'm hoping with Egypt we can just, like, kind of push them back a little bit. Um, trade influx is pretty cool. Our trade agreement with the Seleucid Empire has yielded a splendid return on investment, along with the flow of wealth between our two states. The movement of people is accelerating. Our city of Militia has been blessed with a wave of fresh migrants who believe that they stand a better chance of building their lives in Cappadocia. Well, who are we to deny them? Okay, so because I'm cruel, they will find no fortune here, though, because, um, yeah, a shame. I can't bring them in, so I bring them in and they become slaves. Basically, yeah, I make them slaves. So the Seleucids are going to hate me for this. Um, really hate me. And yeah, their opinion of me has changed considerably. Because we've been slave migrants. Um, and now they really don't like me. So maybe we need to send a gift. Which I am going to do just now. To increase the opinion with Egypt and therefore get my alliance that I need. So I'll wait till the 11th of June and then when the 11th of June hits we shall get that damn alliance and we should be fine. I just need it because yeah it is just going to be incredible. Oh my god no. Why? Oh why did that change? Oh no they must have like changed something. Why? Oh I just wasted all my gold on that. You've got to be kidding me man. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. That was really annoying. I was so goddamn close to that. Oh, well. We wait. We wait, we wait, we wait it out. Crap. 
Maybe as soon as his war finishes, or maybe as soon as my war finishes, I could get him. Oh, he's running around here, isn't he? Please take... Actually, you know what? I'm going to slit you guys up, to be honest. I will... Um, that siege. This detach siege, is it? Okay. So I've detached enough to siege this down. Um, I'm going to go and deal with this geezer. Oh god, no. He's actually got more men than me there and would win. So now I'm going to wait. We'll wait till we occupy this. Oh, still stuck. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Still not planning on killing me. Good. Oh, Egypt. Yes, 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 yes. Good job I looked. Okay, I'm going for this straight away. Will you? Thank you. Okay, now we've got that alliance, which is all important and freaking amazing because it now allows me to have a little bit of protection vis-a-vis -vis the Seleucids. So, you still don't like me, but I couldn't give a rat's, my friend. I now have the Egyptian protection, which is all great. Oh, for God's sake, you're still stuck on 35%, buddy. Um, let's detach. No, not detach support. Crap. Let's detach siege. And let's move. Let's go and deal with you guys. I've caught you. I don't want him taking this. Well, he's going to occupy it. He's going to kill some of my pops, isn't he? I oh, know he's not. He stopped. Good. I actually baited him. I think I baited him. I did bait him. That was wicked. I actually stopped him. Good, because I don't want him taking my land here. I think I'll build a fort on that, to be honest. I don't have one there, so I might as well get one. Here, we're just going to smash the guy, honestly. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm going to go for the pop assimilation speed again, because it is going to be fairly useful. And I need more Macedonian pops. The more Macedonian pops we have, the better things are. I don't think I have a fort in this place, do I? Do I have a fort? I don't. And I think I'll build one, because it stops people moving up through this way. So, I can actually get rid of a building here. Hmm. I should probably get rid of this. Or well, no. Should I get rid of a... I think I'd probably get rid of an aqueduct. I shouldn't have probably built that. I'll get rid of an aqueduct. We'll keep it at 48 pops, but I'm going to get myself a fort in there instead as soon as I can. Just to stop any enemies passing through this way. In this province capitals, I don't like leaving them undefended because it makes it just super easy for enemies to kind of take it. Um, so let's go and deal with you. I don't want you killing any more. Can you please win this siege, buddy? It's like 35% and it has been for ages. Um, anyway, let's go for some traditions. I do want something. Now, we have access to either the Greek Kingdom traditions or the Greek Polis traditions. So, Polis is the city. Um, so, for like the city states and whatnot, and the kingdom traditions are the kingdom. But since we're Greek, we access both. Now, here we have something that's pretty cool here. Um, and I think I'm going to take arms for hire because what happens is we get Macedonian freemen and we get like six of them. And they appear all over the place um, in Ankira, Dogra, and Parnassos. And the amount of armies goes up by 5%, and recruitment cost goes down by 15%. And I will be relying on mercs at some point because, of course, we have less numbers than our bigger enemies. So. We need this. And the good thing about having the extra Freeman here is that we can then probably get more potential levies from this. So the Macedonian, their integrated culture, or the main culture, which means we can levy them. So I am going to go for this straight away. So thank you very much. Bim, bam, boom. So that's some extra Macedonian pops. Now hopefully we have a little few more bastions, as you can see, of Macedonian-based areas. Now this probably, hopefully means that I can get more levies out of this. So maybe once I disband this, we should be able to find some more. I hope so, anyway, at the least. We shall soon see, anyway, if my kind of thoughts were correct. So I'll follow you over here, bud. Still following you all the way around. All right, let's quickly think... Oh, for God's sake, are you still stuck, mate? I can't still be stuck there, surely to God. Right, let's just follow you. I'm going to follow you around, and I'll just kill you. It's got to fall now at some point. Oh, my God. Still 35%. It's, like, literally crazy. Ow. This is not falling. I love it when the game does this to me. It like makes you feel like... Oh my god. It makes you feel like you're against the whole damn world. Anyway, let's follow you down here. I'll just follow you around this section. I'll just keep making you run so you don't occupy any of my land. Because I don't want you to occupy anything. And please, at some point, do do something. Um, a loyal subject. Ooh. Our ruler's efforts to influence the Ptolemos and Mothiad are well underway. I could either take the 36 PI and gain the stability or lieutenant stability, which I don't want to do. Or I can gain a little bit of stab and lose some loyalty. I'm going to do that because I already have now enough PI to enact our legion law. And this is going to be super important. Now let me go into the government laws. And we'll do the royal guard. Haha, -ha, this gives us access to legions in the capital. I'm going to do this straight away. I'm going to lose a bit of stability, but I don't care. Literally, I don't care because I want legions. And now we have the opportunity to make our first Cappadocian Legion, which is great stuff. So we can fill it with 18 um, cohorts, so that's cool. We'll do this after the war, though. 
We are going to need, like, manpower for it and gold, so there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to need to do. Please fall now. Oh, for God's sake. This is just, like, literally killing me. Right, he's going to go and siege this down. Uh, I like it how it's always constantly stuck at 35%. Look, look at that. Another defender desert. How many are you left in there? 380-something. I'm not going to be able to take this, am I? I'm going to literally be stuck on this. I've got a horrible feeling that's what's going to happen. Finally, okay. I'm going to let the looting be gentle because they are my pops, so I don't really want them dead or dying. We're going to go here now. Actually, no, we go up here. Let's follow this guy. Hopefully I can catch him before... Yeah, he's legging it now. He's like basically one big scaredy cat and he's like legging it because he knows that I'm going to smash him if I catch him. Uh, let's go this way now. Oh, you actually... Oh, I forgot. He enslaved two of my pops. How dare he? Oh, well. Can't be helped. Anyway, trouble in development. Recently, we've seen that our royal tutor, Alexandros Nyarchid, as well as Odin with Charge, have been doing a disappointing job. <coughs> Apparently, he's naff. He's been horrible to work with. I can lose two corruption, and he loses 15 loyalty. What's your power base? No, I can't afford that. So, I'm going to pay you some gold. I'm going to get a bit of corruption, but you're going to gain loyalty. And I don't want you to lose any loyalty, because it would be annoying. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to peace out now because I don't want to lose any manpower. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to peace this guy out. All super peace. I just want this buddy. And then the rest, can I like make you become my tributary or something? I think that's a good deal. I'll make you my tributary. Why not? You can pay me a little bit of gold. You'll probably like pay for maintenance of something. And they don't cost anything. Unless that gives the Seleucid an option to kill me. What's your claims like? So basically, you've got a claim on this here. You don't have a claim on this. You do have a claim on this. So I'm actually not going to take that. Not yet anyway. So what I'm going to do instead, it's not worth the hassle. I'm going to take this land here that I need. And that is in my particular like, sphere for my two provinces. And I'm going to leave that. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. That's cool. That's cool. I don't really want, like... Honestly, it... Yeah, I didn't really want to kind of take that. Because, of course, it is in the Seleucus province. And he could make a claim. Probably got a claim on it. So, I didn't really want that. But that's fine. We have a little bit of extra kind of stuff. Is that a city? Oh, no, it's a settlement. We've got a settlement here. I have this split here. I'm going to build a fort on that now. Kind of lock it down a little bit. And what we're going to do is quickly just disband our levies here. Um, how much am I going to get military experience? 1.57 and 3.07. That's cool. Pretty wicked. I'll disband you guys. Aha, so now we have a little bit more men, you see. So we've actually got a bit of heavy cab now in there, which is fairly cool. Um, yeah, we have a really decent sized levy in our, like, provincial kind of capital. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. That's all fantastic and good. Now, the next thing we need to do is focus on our legions. So, 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 so. Let's see what I can build here. I formed a new legion? I can. So, Stratos of Cappadocia Turica. I don't want to call it that. Should I call it for something else? I call it the Royal Legion. Mm hmm. I probably should I call it the Royal Legion. What, what is my guy's name? Can I call it? What is my like ruler's like last name? Minted. I've no idea what I want to call it. Hmm. Can I change names after once I've like named them? I don't think I can. Stratos of Cappadocia Turica. Um. Uh. I don't know. Should it was like Royal Guard or something? Or. Nah. I'll just keep it that. We'll see if I can change it afterwards. Um. Now. I want one of them. And they're going to need some of these. Now, for instance, what if I was to build, like, this, like, two on the flanks, then I could go with, like, four. Do you want to see how much it would cost me? Not that bad. I could definitely do a legion like this, and then probably bang a siege engineer, then bang on one of these. And that would cost me four. Maybe five gold per month. Hmm. Well, I want that. You know what? That is going to be cool. We'll do that. But before I do anything, I'm just going to just add one unit just so I can actually create the damn legion. I'm going to add you and you. I can't add you just yet. But I'll just add one of these and then I'll just add, I'll just add to it, I think. Add you? 
No, I can't. Um, yeah, I'll just add that. I can always add to it afterwards, so it's not really a problem. So I'm just going to create this one with this one here. So it cost me a little bit of maintenance, but I don't care. It cost me 500 manpower. But we'll quickly build that. And the first legion has arisen. So with a large step for a nation to show it has the resources to keep a standing army, we have formed the Stratos of Cappadocia Turica. And we now stand a nation above others. Our glorious nation enters a new era of professional soldiers that will show you no mercy to our enemies. Additionally, they will be able to forge a legacy of their own, and bravery or lack thereof shall determine its character. That is nice. So we'll do this new era has begun. We'll be ordered Primogenia. Does that mean like the first legion made? So we've got Primogenia, which gives us army morale, recovery, and cohort loyalty gain chance minus 10%. And we also have the legion dedication for extra morale of armies, extra discipline, and army unit speed. Now, who is the commander of the legion? I have quite a few sub commanders, actually. Why do I have all that many sub commanders? Do I want that many sub commanders? I mean, who are you? What do you got? You've got... No... You're aggressive. You're disciplined, though, which is very nice. Could I place somebody else, maybe? Oh, you're pretty good. you got nine. You have got nine. What's your loyalty like? You're better than him. I mean, you do have the extra discipline, but... I'm going to place you instead. Because you're, like, better. So, And you're 23, so you can command him for quite a while. Okay, now... Now that is done... We must just stockpile gold. And of course, we must build a bigger legion. And then probably go to war again. An alliance from Armenia. How many diplomatic relationship slots do I have? Not enough, so nobody, not gonna happen. And you still wanna kill me? No. No, 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 no. How is your realm doing? Got no one that's disloyal. How is it possible? How could this guy not have anyone disloyal? Ah. Uh. Now, you've got a big power base. What if I were to inspire your disloyalty? So, that would go down three. Hmm. Gain a little bit of aggressive expansion, but, I mean, I could afford... Let's try it. Let's try and make you disloyal. I mean, he's just a research. Can I make a governor disloyal? I mean, I could potentially make one of his governors disloyal. Um, let's have a look at his regions and see what governors he's got. What about in Syria here? This guy's loyal, this guy's loyal. They're all really friggin' loyal. Yeah, they're all so loyal. How are they so goddamn loyal? Aha, this guy in there. In Bithynia and Paphlagonia. Which one is this one? It's only friggin' tiny. He like, has no land in this place. Like this, so that's not really worth it. So now I'm not going to do anything to him just yet. It's not really that worth it. But again, we shall still keep an eye on the dude. Um, now, I could probably change something here. I know you were still kind of trying to bring in migration, but that's now finished. So you can do... I mean, do I need to put you on? Yeah, I can put you on promote pops. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do the um, social mobility here. Pop that on quickly. Um, can I build something here? I could probably get an aqueduct. And I don't have the gold because I need 90. I'm going to get one because we have a surplus of, like, we don't have enough room for the pops. It's overpopulated, so I'll probably just do that. It would be nice. And now I do need to focus on taking these guys on. Do I have a claim on you? No. That's a shame. Um, is there anything with the missions that I could possibly get? What do I need to get here? So what's this? Making gains. That's all the way down here. I could potentially do this. Into Phrygia. I can't because the Salukas have got it. I can't do that either. I literally can't go too far down. I would love to have had something up there, but I might have to abort the mission at some point. Which is a shame. A big shame indeed. Minor addendum. What's this going to give me? Six stability for 10 PI. I would love to take it, but I don't have the PI, so I can't do that. No, oh, sorry, buddy. Not going to happen. Not going to happen and can't happen. So uh, we'll leave that there. You want access? Yeah, why not? We'll give it you. You can move around, do your thing. Blah, 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 blah. Gain 41 manpower back per month. I need more. I need more for my Legion. More for the Legion forces. I need more gold, um, but before I do anything else, I need an aqueduct. Please let me have an aqueduct. I need 90 gold. I've got to wait like another two months in order to get that. I need to get my legion ready for the upcoming war. There will be a war with the Seleucids. I do know that. And I would like to get my legion up and running before. I think do I need an aqueduct there yet? I probably don't. Um... Yeah, I, honestly, I don't want to waste the gold on that just yet. Um, I'd sooner just increase my legion size. Which would be so much better. So, we'll get this here. Get one of these. 
Then I'll get a supply train. I don't have enough manpower for that. So let's get this first. Should I? Yeah, let's do it. Screw it. Reinforce the Legion. Yeah, that's nice. Now I've got a light little even 1k stack, so I'm going to put the Heavy Cav on the first line, Heavy Infantry in the second line. Of course, Flanks only set to 2. Um, I don't really want it to be that big. I couldn't even afford it to be that big, to be honest. And now I have enough gold to add in the extra unit. How much food do they have? Not too long. I need more. I need a supply chain. I'll sooner get one now, really, to get it out of the way. So let's get the supply train quickly. I think it would work pretty well. So, there we go. So I spent all my manpower on that. Now we just need to really wait, to be honest. I'm not really going to move too much now for quite a while. Until we can get a decent-sized Legion. And then, once we've got the decent-sized Legion, then I can probably afford to intervene a bit more. I mean, I would like to get some more land so I can become a kind of sort of a major power. So then I can have an extra Diplo relation slot, which would be great. Because I could probably get an alliance with Armenia, you see, and that would really work. Um, who have you got food to do with? Who's this guy? Oh, it's this guy here. Okay, it's got a little future in the middle. Interesting. The little kids still don't want to kill me. Good. What is their leader like? Is he dying? No, he's not dying. I would like him to die, but unfortunately, it's not going to be the case. How's our boy, by the way? I know we have a child, and he's only four. Um, but he is self-controlled. Hmm. Okay, a life of fulfillment seems to Simonides to lack all sense of purpose. Right, um, who is the preferred heir? This guy, the others really don't have too much support, so I'm not really worried about like having any kind of form of rebellion or anything. The legitimacy is rising quite nicely. Could I increase it? I could. But it's going to cost a PI, and I don't want to waste a PI on that, so no. What I do want to do is make a claim on this, though, and I could probably eat some of these guys up. Yeah, I could definitely eat some of these guys up, and it would be nice, and I would have access to the Pontic Pops, which I shall definitely integrate. It would give me access to some extra heavy infantry, so no reason not to do it. And they are, of course, Greek, just like we are, or we are supposed to be anyway. Right, now we wait for the manpower to go up. We could probably just start building some more stuff. Um, but before we have Scholar the Divine, and oh, I am going to take the PI here. I think I'm going to take the Corruption. I'm dying anyway, so I'm not bothered. So I'm just going to go for the Corruption uh, for the PI, because I'm what? I'm 63. Um, I'm not going to be around for very freaking long, so... Yep, yeah, I'm going to take it. And PI is hard to come by anyway, so now we can actually get our claim going on these guys. So I'm going to fabricate a claim on this here, which would be quite nice. Maybe fabricate a claim on Sinope, I think would be good. It's going to cost us less than I think, in terms of aggressive expansion. Well, no, I think one's enough. I'm not going to gain too much from it because there's not that much land. So I'm going to keep the rest of the guy, I think, for the moment. I might be able to use it for other things. But um, anyway, let's go back here now. Eight out of eight buildings. Um, eight out of eight. This is all done. This is all nicely developed. I've got an import route here, which is cool. Um, let's see. I want to bring something in for my dear citizen. Well, what about noble? Look at Papyrus, because that gives us, like, local noble happiness. Let's increase the happiness of our dear nobles. There we go. We'll get that. That's increases their happiness a little bit. It's quite nice. Let's look at our trade routes just quickly. See if I've got any left. I have got one down here as well. I don't need any food. Um, I think I need something for... I guess something for the Freeman here, I think. Let's get some base medals. Um, let's get it from... Let's get it from the Salukas again. We'll try and have, like, good relations with them. At least then we'll, like, happily trade. So here I can build nothing left. Here we've got the right policy. Pop should be promoting. I just want to kind of check all this now. So it is going, yeah, it's promoting pretty quickly. What are you promoting to a noble? Wow, that's going like wildfire. Can I go for one of these? I don't have enough gold yet. Let's quickly check the other areas so I know what is going on. Pop info. Whoa, we've got a lot of migration coming in here. I'm all over the place. Um, that's quite a lot. I might actually change this again after. Because we have promoted quite a lot of the pops, and I might change it to the migration policy. Here I don't really have too many, so I don't really need to. Um, it's because... Yeah, I probably will, to be honest. Here I don't need to. The promotion's going on pretty nicely. We're getting hitting the ratio slowly but surely. It is slowly coming across. And what about in this place? 
Here it's getting a little bit better as well. So it is here. Here we've actually hit the limit to our nobles. So I'm going to have to build something here first, I think. Yeah, we'll build something in this place. Now, making a little bit less gold, obviously, because, of course, the maintenance of the Legion is costing us a fair bit. So I do need to kind of pay attention to that. As soon as I get the gold here, we're going to go for an academy here, just so I can increase the noble ratio here, try and get some more of them. What's our tech like now? 45%. A little bit better. Not quite fantastic, but it's okay, and it should be getting a little bit better as we go along. And what about you guys? Is there any migration here? A little bit of migration. And what about here? We have a lot of migration. Yeah, we have quite a few, actually. So what am I going to do here? I have quite a few room available, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap this now, and I'm going to go to the centralized pops. So here we go, boom, just fill all these in, get some more pops into the cities, what we want, and I think I'm going to do the same here quickly. It's going to cost us a bit of tyranny, but I don't have any, so like, whatever. It's going to speed this up a little bit, um, which I would like, and I'm going to do this quickly here before it runs out. Oh, some free stability. Thank you, buddy. I'll happily take that. Could have increased our tech a little bit as well, but we should see at the end of the month, I think. But 46 now. 47. 49. 49%. We're getting there. Uh, you can have military access, no problem. And I'm going to end the episode here, people. Been about half an hour since I have started the recording. And uh, so, um, in the next one, what we'll do, I'll probably keep increasing my legion size as we go along. Um, of course, like, it was one supply change. Nice. I don't think I'm going to get the um, engineers just yet I for the forts. I don't really need them. Um, I'll just sooner fill up with better men in order for us to be able to kind of field a bigger legion. But anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed things, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, then of course, please consider subscribing to the channel for more. It really does help. And with that said and done, thank you so much for being here. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.